How are you doing? I'm good. Nice. I'm seven on the placements, and I hit diamond before the end of last season. So nice. That's good. going good then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what have you been practicing so far? Um, <clears throat> uh, less linear jump jumps. I worked on my bubble for a little bit. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> just placing it in general earlier. And uh, with the new patch, it seems like my bubble breaks a lot quicker. Like, I have more HP sure. to work with, but they didn't upgrade, like, the bubble at all. So it, it pops, like, a lot quicker with the more consistent damage and people just doing more damage. Sure, sure, sure. But uh, placing that at higher armor and then avoiding poke is still a big problem. But okay. I feel like that's the hardest one out of all the three. So w w what exactly is hard when you trying to avoid the poke some some teams are just really good and they like keep a constant eye on you they're always mm -hmm. looking for like when you move out of cover i find like some teams just let you kind of move for free but other teams like always look to shoot at you and so when i go for like a lazy rotate just like try to strafe across you know real quick uh, i always get poked yeah exactly <laughs> so you want to just be more consistent with less linear rotations right yeah okay yeah this is something you can train okay uh anything else those have been my main focuses now pretty much i've i've you know i always look at better targets but like um the uh that's more just in my opinion like setting up so i can dive on better targets if that makes okay. any more sense yeah 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 for sure for sure <laughs> How the how the scouting went as well? We went over that in our live session before. I um I did work on that a bit too. I forgot about that. But uh, looking looking backwards at my team, I typically just try to do that before I make like a final decision. I'll turn around real quick and look like back at the team, or um, before I make a rotate, I'll try to figure out what the enemy's doing. And, like get clear looks at them. Mm -hmm, mm hmm So y it's been successful, you think, for the most part? Yeah. Okay. I definitely think I'm a better player. Okay, okay. <laughs> and is there anything what you seem like to struggle with besides getting poked? Is there anything else? Um, It's hard because, you know, I'm looking at everything as, like, like, every time I die, I'm blaming it on taking, like, too much poke, you know? Whether it was, like, just a little bit of damage or a lot. I've just, you know, try, since I've been trying to work on that, I've just always been blaming it on that. Uh -huh. But, um, I mean, I, I, I've, I've won the past seven games, so I really have nothing, like, to say. <laughs> I, I feel like I've, everything's been going, I just need to, like, move up in the rank, and now I gotta finish the placements. Probably, and, like, yeah. <clears throat> keep playing. Yeah, of course, I think it's one of the big parts, too, yeah, just... Applying all the concepts, see where you get to be, and then what is the challenge there, and then mm -hmm. once you face the challenge, you will see what's what's gonna give you the biggest value, so you can move towards the higher rank. Yeah. Okay, then if the problem's been with less than the rotations, we can maybe go with that a little bit more. Uh... We can also do live game, but do you, do, you, do you have any games where it was difficult for you, first of all, to apply all this less linear stuff? Not you know? not on the new patch, unfortunately. Like I like I said, I I went seven zero, and they were all like I blew the enemy team out of the water. Okay, okay. So all the games, no it's just been there's been no problem. Okay. So you want? I have do... like some stats. Like I, yeah. I had a twenty k damage game on Winston, where I went like twenty seven and four. I really felt like I was the hard carry every game. Nice. So I didn't keep any of those replay codes because, like, they were kind of just. I don't know. I feel like the new patch is putting me against like golds or whatever at the start or something. Because no, no, I. What do you think? Any any replay <clears throat> which felt kind of close or. It was overall you've been steamrolling kind of. Over like every game has been a steamroll. Okay. Do you <laughs> want to do a live game then? Just see yeah. what you do there. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Cool. Okay. Should I just 
load into one right now or yeah i think sure let's let's do that then <laughs> we wanted to do live anyway so <laughs> i think should be good now let's maybe put some emphasis on scouting because we've been talking about that before a lot so yeah let's just yeah. make sure you actively scout whenever you it's just before the setup and and before the engagement right so just two mm -hmm. scouting steps initial scouting once you're done setup you can scout one more time mm -hmm. especially looking after where most of your team is i think <laughs> Okay, you have pretty Davi team with you here. Just huh? Widowmaker. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I definitely like this comp when I'm queuing Winston. This is good. Just two long it's ranges though. It's Anna and Widowmaker to play around. So make sure you dive in their sidelines, but overall should be fine. When I play Winston, like, Ana feels like a super Alari turret. I just have to jump in LOS, and then it's, it's back to full health. Yeah. And the Kiriko is like, get out of jail free card. Remember, because <laughs> you have new passives, especially now, you don't have to, a lot of times, to go back to your team. You can just heal up by yourself, and that's really important. Yeah, your... I've, I've been loving the new passive. Yeah, your, your, your uh, setup... Uh, whenever you engage, do something, yeah, it, you, you can't look to maintain your angles a little bit longer. So keep keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Yeah, and when when squishies run away, I've had a couple like run away from me and like keep me poking, so I stop healing. But then they'll turn around and like kill me because they're back to full health. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was that was terrible. <clears throat> I didn't think the Reaper was there. I thought I was jumping on a Genji. But to, to, to look to jump the corners whenever you, whenever you can, yeah. it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who's there, so you can break the line of sight. Okay, this is fine, just make sure you set up first, then scout, see what's going on, and then you can look to go. Mm hmm. This is fine, that was isolated. Team so. is dead. And reset. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, I went a little early. Oh. Trying to figure out how to. Dang it. I keep jumping in the wrong spot. I meant to like get in the room. No, that's I'm having that's trouble fine. getting my team around this corner. Y you <laughs> want to bypass the space. You want to set up 180 angle remember so what is the way to set up the 180 when you go going if my choke? team's playing like on this left i should be over here on this right yeah yeah yeah. but then later where do you go once they stuck in the choke i try to get to like the point or like the yes. roof of on the point I exactly you need to go but... towards the point so you set up 180 angle right away yeah from oh, okay. here you done you done it done the first setup now the next setup is going to be around this statue here yeah exactly you, so you turn the resources around yes 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 this is how we do it yeah yeah, yeah this is this is better i can win this with primal I can try to maybe get him and try to stay alive i think if possible oh i didn't know my team was done Uh, it's fine. You guys, you guys have the better spawn, so you can repeat the same process. Okay, and do do the same thing one more time. Once you have the bubble, yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm
Nice, good. Oh. You ever have a trouble breaking through the choke? You don't jump on the choke, you jump past the choke. So you form okay. 180 angle, remember? Uh, I wanted to jump there. But mm -hmm. I probably die. <laughs> Not enough scouting. I see you taking the time, it's good. <laughs> it's always nice to be patient. Yeah, here you have 180 angle on the sig, you can kill him. And he's isolated. Mm, if not, not yet, but okay, well. She was isolated for some time. But it's fine. You can, yeah, you can I had level up. two, so I felt pretty yeah. Yeah, it was invincible. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. Set up again. Uh, scout after. It's fine, you can get kills. See who is isolated. Yes. <laughs> Might be difficult. But you can try. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> she did. Surfer. <laughs> she she surfed that corner. Right. I get to move payload for free. They all came back. Okay, set, set up for the next fight. Yeah, this is good. So far. Mm. Oh, I don't feel like primaling that. <clears throat> you maybe can, but I don't think it was the right decision to jump right uh, in the first place because nobody can follow or there's no isolated yet. So. Oh, okay, okay. It's always just there. Either... I failed to scout. Yeah. Around yeah, yeah. Before you the jump. Exactly, exactly. You wanna wanna scout in info. <clears throat> you can set up first. Yeah. Set up first, scout, okay, see what's going on. I hear Ana over mm -hmm. here. This is a good isolated target. Uh huh. And you kill him. Nice. Now, <laughs> oh, next target. Nice, you win. Easy scout, easy win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a good setup spot. I this think is that's fine. What got me that Ana kill setting up. Oh, I can kind of set the up above the pillars. Frame. Yeah, pillars are really good if you you should if you can get up there. Yeah, I'm not gonna want to be there for much longer. Mm -hmm. I can try with the next jump once you get your uh, HP back. Oh, she is. I can maybe fight those guys if they're isolated. Where is Killable? She's on the main. Yeah, nice. Well, Anna is isolated up there, but not sure you can yeah. get her. You can try. There is a Reaper. Okay, you can. <laughs> I don't know. I think I saved. Oh, so, I should have primaled. What am I thinking? Then, well, it's the last fight, so yeah, but, you know. Uh, I, think, it's, it's I feel like after I killed Moira, I should have primaled instantly and then jumped up to the Ana. But I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think you can. It, it, it's Charging kinda... battery. Because that's one of the things I found is, like, I remember one time he told me to, like, I, I only primal when I'm low, you know? Right. <clears throat> but I guess sometimes I just use it like an alt. So, sometimes there's, it can be, like, an exception if you 100% sure you get a kill with a primal. Uh, let's say you're not low or anything, but you're pretty confident you get, like, an environmental kill or something. It's always good reason to pop the primal a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. I'd say you put that sig of the bridge. Maybe you get somebody real quick if they're stuck in the corner. That also works. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can air juggle that Ana to death after I get, especially after I get Moira. Mm. I have like the capacity to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> where, where are you going to set up here? Uh, I always just start here. Start here, sure. Yeah, I, I I just wait for tank to yes. cross, and then when tank crosses, yes. I drop. Then don't don't jump don't, don't poke early. Then be like a tracer, okay? You don't want to use okay. the right click, or he gets you get spotted. Okay. Yeah, I I wait, and then I like I kind of sit here typically because they can't see me when I sit here. 
Yeah. And then I can see if they go under. You, you should hide in a room for a necessary scout. Like, hide in a room is slightly better because they can bypass you on the bridge as well. Okay, this is, this is almost fine. Uh, but do the same, but go from 180. You need to kind of go from behind the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Go f drop from the other side yes, of the bridge. Yes, yes. And you don't, you don't want to poke, uh, peek, peek out, like, uh, with, with the right click. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. You can charge your right click while being here, sure, but it's it's not it, it's not that your primary Valuable. pieces of damage. Oh, uh, I should have gone from the other side of the bridge. Yeah, yeah. There's... Okay. Like see here, you have the downtime. Maybe you can right click, of course, if they have the distance. But uh, it's. It's okay. Two HP pack. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now do the setup. Mm-hmm. That's a good angle. Mm, can ask for Okay. Oh. This, this works. This is good. Yeah, I think you live. Yeah. A Genji oh, or yeah. Ana you can get them. Mm-hmm. Ana is clutch. So usually this right side room works a little bit better because experienced enemies they go up, up, above the bridge as well, and they might scout you if you just sit in the bridge. So if you're okay. inside the room, they don't scout you unless they look. How do I left. keep like an eye on the fight here, though? Uh, you you hear. You need to listen. You need to listen to sounds. Listen. Yes, this is another part <laughs> about the scouting. Yeah, you don't look. You just listen to the footsteps. Once they pass uh -huh. the bridge, you go, basically. Uh, yeah, and it's also about expectations because if you press tab, then you can check uh, what characters they have, where they expect them to be, and it makes it your life easier. Like you see Anna, you probably expect Anna to be in the back line. She will not go anywhere. Moira, she might bypass the bridge with a fade, but Anna is your best target anyway. So you go after Anna. Yeah. Um, a little worried about what's behind me. The, the, this spot on the right might be one of the best for you. This one right yes, here? Yes, the roof spot? Yes, yes. This, this is, make, makes your life much easier. See, like, so much easier for you to go on the back line. It's, it's, yeah. You, this is more of a 180. Go, go back to that spot. Okay, this is also good. I like it, too. It's like... I was just thinking, like literally, sure. one eighty from my team. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is this is fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to go back up there. Yeah. I did bubble earlier there, for the sleep. It's not too bad. Unless he, I lost her. <laughs> she, she's inside. Um, but I think the... I'm going to primal this. Yeah. Then... <clears throat> oh, she missed. Oh, she did. <laughs> oh, you live long enough. Nice. Get him. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna get HP pack either. Oh, okay, this guy's dead. Oh, yeah, Reaper. Reaper is not killable. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wanted to try to knock the Reaper off, but I don't know. He can always just wraith. Figure. Okay, wait, wait, wait for them to but let the, let them bypass. As usual, but yeah, listen... I was just thinking about bubbling for him. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't need to. Okay. Just reset. Yeah. Just, yeah. just gonna try to escape with my life. Nanoblade moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I waited way too long. That was silly. That's 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 right. I think overall it's like fi f fine game. You know, you some of the things definitely can maybe improve the quality. Like mm -hmm. 
how you engage from behind maybe like one eight c yeah sure on the bridge so they don't scout you as much but they didn't so it's not like too big of a problem but the biggest thing is and that this this is something you can add to scouting as well is just keeping an eye on what is the biggest thing which can stop your your team let's put it this way um or oh so target priority sort of sort of it's not it's not only about that it's also about just preparing your resources so uh, just give me this code real quick i will explain give you the what this code the recent one okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's again something to do with how you get information <clears throat> and get information, all of this information right before the fight ideally and usually you can track during the fight and see what our enemy most important resources you can disable in a way okay so just gonna just jump on the replay here much loaded okay ready two one okay now Defend you don't have to just scout only where most of your team is where they're able to do damage but you can also be more specific and intentional about scouting and play around the biggest resources the biggest cooldowns let's put it this way um mm, what do you what i mean by that is anything what can do a lot of burst anything what can get your kill that is something what you can play around usually so if you look at your composition here, what are the top three cooldowns you can play around on your team? Uh, Dash and Nade. Okay. I think, and Suzu probably. Mm, let's do... But that's not really what aggressive. What does the big burst? Yeah, what does the big burst? So Nade is pretty valuable. Yeah, it's kind of burst as well. Um, it's just anti-heal. Pretty big ability. Okay. Dash, maybe. So it's a Genji shift, maybe, as well. Yeah, if I see Genji, like, dash on this mm. target. Com combined with the... Widow shot, I guess. Mm. Widow shoot somebody. Yeah, sure. Widow shot. Widow, as well. And this is how you do it. You not only want to see where most of your team is, you want to see where those resources can do something. Yeah? And, and it's not that you wait for these resources, no. You create opportunities so those resources can be used. Yeah? You're being more proactive, as always. Let's say you go in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we're setting up all of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We start the pressure. Whenever you're about to engage, your idea is kind of, okay, is that something yeah like nade widow shot is that something what can be used at this specific moment if yes then this is a good time for you to engage if you're engaging multiple people if you're not engaging isolated yeah isolated you can kind of go whenever usually as we mentioned before but yeah. here because you're fighting multiple people about to fight all of this yeah, like even this uh so you jump on one uh, this Anna, so it's like, no, it's okay. Yeah, she, she got peeled though. She got peeled in a way. Mm -hmm. but the, the, I think my, I think the problem with that bad. jump was like, uh, how I landed on that Anna. Like, yeah, I feel yeah. like I should have jumped further to point, get behind her. Yeah, yeah, you can jump further. <laughs> I think you just cutting off, uh, defensive rotation this way. Yeah, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think that that was too bad. Okay, this here though. Okay, you're doing this jump mm -hmm. now. The, the question is, when we do this. What kind of resources can be used here? What kind of resources we play around? And this is, this is something you get a scout, yeah? Like right before, okay, if it's engagement, yeah, if you see, you know, okay, I'm want to use my bubble there probably, yeah, and I'm engaging here. Hey, can, mm -hmm. can your resources uh, do something at this point of time? Yeah, this is the question. What do you think? No. Not as much, yeah? So what do you... 
what the solution here? So it's gonna be easier for your resources to do something. <laughs> take more time to set up. Uh, take more time to set up. How you go about that? Walking right instead of fighting the bridge. Walking right, yeah, as an example. Uh, maybe also bypassing the choke, like we mentioned. A uh, pretty valuable option. Mm -hmm. Whenever you do this, you lean the resources, uh, you bait the resources towards you, towards the sight lines, where now suddenly Widowmaker can see you, where Anna can see you, and maybe Dash, like Genji's Dash can see you in a way. Mm -hmm. So you, mm -hmm. you, you, you do this continuously, it makes it easy for everybody and you to do the pressure and see like this this dive could work maybe but what kind of resources you would need it's maybe something like if genji follows you if maybe you have a sombra maybe you have Farah, echo something like what what is able to follow you there yeah Th mm -hmm. this is really important to keep an eye on well, like whenever you keep an eye on the cooldowns makes it easier now th that that's why you kind of got deleted. Obviously, you can jump to the corner as well, just in case for defensive purposes. Um, that, mm -hmm. By the way, if you do this, you know, way uh, let's say we hug this corner, maybe we bait the enemy in the sidelines here, which makes the life a little bit easier. So now Widowmaker is gonna be using the shot, or Anna might use the nade, or for Genji it makes it easier for him to dash, something like that. Yeah. So it, that is something to keep in mind. Okay. So this is one perspective. Does it make sense playing around the big cooldowns? Yeah. A bit. Okay. I uh, I didn't think I'd die so quick. The reason why the reason why I jumped up there is because I thought like I thought the minute I jumped up there, like Genji would dash away. Yeah. And then Sig would like back up and drop, and they would just give me the high ground, and yeah, I would it, be able it, to it, let my team walk in, and it, then I'd set up. It, but exactly. I, I was totally wrong. You're right. Yeah, and th this is not gonna happen exactly for, because I mentioned your resources can be used there. Yeah, your mm -hmm. your Anna can nade, your Widowmaker can shoot as well. So it's not enough. You need most of your resources to be able to do something. So you, so you enable them. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why you don't jump on the bridge. Okay, the next jump. This this works better because now all of these guys are gonna be forced to go on you. So here, your Widowmaker can maybe shoot somebody, your Anna can aid somebody. They got uh, pressured by the Reaper, and I think Genji is uh, sick, but it's it's better. You will see later, you kind of broke through the choke because of it. Mm -hmm. Because you done this jump one more time. Okay. You see? Okay, this is not a blade, just them using it. That's okay. Yeah. I heard I heard the blade go off and I saw on a pop nana, so I was just thinking like trade back line. Yeah, because yeah. there's nothing I can do to stop the blade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> this this one is interesting actually. So um, one perspective is enable, let's call it enable a top three cooldowns on your team. Now you can also keep an eye on what do you disable on the enemy as well just what is the most dangerous pressure you can yeah you can you can disable in a way so you look first of all you can look at the enemy composition okay you see the, the way i see the enemy composition yeah. is you've got anna and moira so the first thing that goes through my head is like my barrier blocks both of their heels yeah exactly and then genji is probably the easiest squishy for me to kill yeah and then i want to avoid reaper mm. and sig probably right sig can, it just has so much to sustain Right, right. So this is this is one. This is one thing. You, you keep an eye on what are most dangerous threatening cooldowns you can disable, and it doesn't matter what you do. Maybe you jump. Maybe you uh, distract them to look at you. Yeah, if you can do that, this is quite valuable for your team. You jump on Anna. You disable the Anna Anna's Anna snade completely and sleep died as an example. You can also mm -hmm. disable the dash, which again does a lot of burst, and you're pretty good dealing with the Genji. So something to keep an eye. Yeah? One perspective, like same way we you do with your team. Yeah? You play around your cooldowns, but you can also keep an eye. What do you disable? Yeah? What are the resources you can disable? And you can also add ultimates. Disabling ultimates. This one is quite important, especially if you're pushing towards masters. You have 
to track what is the most dangerous ultimate they have at this point of time and how can you disable it because ultimates at any point of time they're always dangerous let's say they have nano you know that okay maybe your priority can be let's jump the Anno. maybe they have a sigma ultimate maybe something you can do to force the sigma ultimate quicker yeah now you will see they have blade they actually have nano blade okay just after a few moments. I feed one more time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's <laughs> yeah. just after after this. Okay. Once we reset. Okay, disengage. Okay, so now the question is, because they have the blade, it's obviously would you agree it's the most dangerous ultimate on the yeah, team at this sure. point of time? Mm -hmm. So what can you do to disable the nano blade? Kill Anna. Uh, kill Anna. Oh, okay. This is one. I guess I could force out Genji. You can like go on the Genji. dash out. Yes. And then he can't dash, yes. play dash. Yes, exactly, exactly. And and see, this is something you can look for quicker. If you know this is happening, yeah, then why wait? Yeah, we don't have to exactly even drop our HP sometimes to the 200 or something. Yeah, when you lose most of your armor and so on and then use the primal node. You can be quicker and maybe try to disable the Ana right away because you know they're gonna normally this is how they win but what, what, why do you uh what do you want them to win you, you get a pick you just want to instantly uh, instantly say okay uh can, can i can i go on this obviously you can keep an eye on your cooldowns as well but ultimates those are always the priority how you enabling or disabling enemy ultimates mm -hmm. uh enabling your ultimates yeah it's just another part but you know okay nano blade is on uh you gotta be quicker you jump on nano right away uh this is more preemptive this is more preemptive yeah how can you do pressure so they d do not nano blade at all uh, this is fine but you can also do kind of more reactionary uh pressure as well good winstons they actually primal the blade as an example they just boop the genji away so he can be a slicing anybody on 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 your team this is this is so like here like you would pop primal and like jump up towards genzi and try to like disrupt them yeah you you, you can try if you didn't do this you should you should you should have done that this is this is the easiest part you should do yeah like i don't think you mm -hmm. have to do the five head uh, go after the genji yet like this is a really uh you need a big brain yeah sure you can deny all of this you expect him to go on the back line but do easy part first make sure you go and disable the nano blade with pre more preemptive measures yeah which we didn't mm -hmm. do yeah. this is something what helps a lot okay but well, let's say there's no option yeah for some reason there's just maybe they have bastion or something and uh, you're really uh, concerned if you go on the Anna, you die even though you use your primal when the bastion keeps your steward mode maybe there's in yara as well with diana and you're like okay i can go on the Anna, no preemptive measures maybe the then the next step is going to be how can i disable a reactionary um just using the primal would be okay yeah this, this is fine. Oh, okay yeah because the sense. minute I hear blade pop, I I think I jump. But you're saying I need to jump earlier than that. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't okay. want the win condition to happen. If you, but you, you have to anticipate that. Yeah. The question is, did you know they have nano blade? Yeah. If you did, then could you have done something about it? And it's it, the, the the answer is totally yeah. We could have done mm -hmm. uh, the pressure on on the other one hundred percent. So it's just you're not sitting in a room. You you go you go now. You go you go like uh, once you get a pick. I think you have the primal. Okay, this this is now. You have to you have to be quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, part of me was thinking about going now, but I was like I was thinking about scouting. So I like turn around, yeah, and look around, make exactly. sure I know what's happening. Exactly, exactly. This this is fine. Yeah, like that's why I'm adding. Uh, we're trying to just build up the speed a little bit more but it's not just based on the oh you gotta be quicker yeah you it's gonna be based again on you getting information and once you do it more and more it's gonna be easier for you to apply yeah it, it's just gonna be constantly click okay what is this most dangerous thing they have and how am i gonna disable it and enable while enabling my team at the same time yeah i'm disabling the biggest pressure from the enemy okay what is that it's nanoblade 
let's jump yeah can i do it yes i can and you're not gonna sacrifice your life yeah you're gonna win the fight actually by doing that see what i'm saying yeah 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 and, and this this something what might cause the ana to panic nano panic nano might cause the genji to not properly use his dash and then he's not gonna get any kills done because of it more preemptive measures yeah. yeah so this is this is one and you will see it goes through the entire replay you can think about it more so it's just whenever you're gonna fire it you're gonna be thinking what is that most dangerous ultimate okay maybe they have a reaper maybe they have anna's anna's pressure okay so you got that kenji this is looking good <laughs> what do you think so they, they have a reaper old what can you do about it this is the biggest resource you can try to disable <clears throat> so i don't know about the reaper i don't know what i can do i mean i can bubble it but every time yeah. i bubble a reaper all it doesn't seem valuable why not i don't i i i feel like when people are gonna die to the reaper all they're gonna die to the reaper all it's just better if i can get kills in exchange that's yeah that's the way i always look at yeah. that all yeah yeah sure i think i think this is this is fine uh if you know this is the case you can trade with somebody you know it's like one way of disabling the reapers reapers ultra you just deny somebody else's pressure but the, if you, what if not yeah again you, you there is no one answer yeah you as we mentioned about nanoblade you can disable nanoblade to more preemptive measures or you can just reactionary do something yeah and more reactionary yeah. way using the bubble on the reaper more preemptive way yeah what what, what is that yeah what maybe forcing out wraith yeah maybe or... Something, something uh, like maybe using the right click slightly more, so he is not gonna be able to easily engage. Yeah, actively scouting, seeing. Yeah, even marking, just using your ping on the Reaper, just in case. It also helps. It just alerts the the team in a way. Yeah. So, but he, he, because you keep that in mind, might disable some of the pressure. I think he's. Yeah. Well, he's flanking all the way in the back here. He died. So this, he can't do the Reaper ult yet. And after here. like now now you have you have to keep a track on this and uh, if you're constantly tracking with the most dangerous pressures you might look in the areas you have like where do you expect the reaper to be okay i expect the reaper to be probably in the castle because he is a short range character or maybe expect him to take i don't know this this flank here mm, most likely he's going to do something around here because of the where the card high is. ground and mm -hmm. yeah so so th this this is something you can do just slightly more yeah like now yeah let's say do slightly a little bit of early pressure right click maybe also ping this and you, you're not going to be fully committed after this no you you, you don't have to but the, the thing is if you're looking to trade the black the back line yeah the reaper is gonna can you do it at this point of time yeah can you no go up to, no so this is means more reactionary measurements yeah and uh you're gonna be doing what like using the bubble as an example yeah i like, see here okay th he does this bubble and it might kill your teammates, but at least they have a little bit more time. If they have a little bit more time, there's a chance they survive. You know, this is. Uh... I had no idea, like I was ever that close to him. Exactly, and it's again because <laughs> the, the, we we have to anticipate. We have to train awareness even more. Once you you, you constantly ask the question of, of where is that most dangerous pressure is, suddenly it makes sense, yeah, because you know mm -hmm. where the Genji is, you know that three people there were the Reapers. He, he, there's no way he's uh, now spawn. Yeah, he just died. So uh, where do you expect him? Yeah, probably here. Okay. Once you know that, makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jumping and isolated was fine. Okay. Yeah. After the Reaper alts, I see Sig going to bridge. So I think like, if I drop down and bubble, he won't have any heals. No, I, I, so I uh, drop. I think it was okay. Yeah. 
And see now, okay. They have nanoblade. Okay. How can we disable this? I could go on the Ana or yeah. uh, go on the Genji force out dash. Mm -hmm. But preferably what, just What is easier at this point of time? Ana. I th or maybe Genji. Maybe, yeah. I think both can work. Yeah. Genji's half, so he probably just explodes when I land on him. Mm. Yeah, you can try. If he's half now, I think why not? If not, then go on, on the Ana, it's gonna be 180. But y you can be definitely, like, instantly... Okay, because you know that, it's it's not that just Ana is a good target. It's based on something. You, you What cooldowns you're disabling, or what ultimates you're potentially disabling as well. See, like, now this is what forces the Ana to nano a little bit earlier. And now there's a bigger chance for Genshin to mess up. And he exactly messed up, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you, see, you see this? Because you've done this more preemptive pressure. This is early pressure, which you could have done at the choke here. And this is mm -hmm. exactly this. It, it's not that you're really like uh, fearing something. Yeah, even uh, at this point of time, yeah, you you really have your team around you. Uh, they've been pushing to the choke. That that that, that, was, that was fine. I think they're gonna use one more. What? Uh, yeah, they, they actually managed to get one, but they got slapped. Force the Kitsune, use Kitsune, these guys are forced to push, and then they die, yeah. That was that was nice. Mm -hmm. Here I should have been quicker to set up on the ledge over there, like yeah. you've said before. Yeah, now go back to our previous perspective. Remember, we're enabling the biggest resources. What are those again on our team? What are the top C cooldowns you're enabling? Right now it's probably nade. Uh we don't have Genji anymore, so like missile. And mm -hmm. soldier LOS, uh, widow LOS. Yes, exactly. And uh, what what is that? Where those resources can be active? What what space? We're right now soldiers there, so the ledge I think would be pretty good. The ledge, yeah, exactly. But our yeah. widow is dead, it seems, or they're walking she, she's right. She's setting up. She she's yeah. Look, she's she's gonna set up right there on the angle. Uh, this is more expected. Uh, you should expect the widow to be either here or on this ledge, so they have the the line of sight. On, on, okay. on this here. Mm -hmm. Again, some, some of the anticipation, you're ready to set up your resources, and you only use the bubble when most of your resources are ready. See, this is like, we can call it, okay, this is a mistake. If you engage versus multiple people, use the bubble, because the resources are not ready. And let's say we wait a little bit longer. Okay, video shot, it's gonna set up, three, two, one, set up. You engage, like now, maybe, uh, or something, yeah? When the video oh. shot is ready, yeah? When, well, your Anna is coming back, so it's a little bit harder, but at least you have your soldier ready as well. This is bad. Better. Yeah, be more sneaky setup and push uh, once those cooldowns can do something, yeah? But now you got forced out and then these guys, they pressure, pressure, pressure more. They take space. It's harder for the Widow to do something and then the soldier dies because this guy guys get closer, yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. I think, okay, we can try to do this if you want. Just do a game and... Try to apply this, maybe. What do you think? Maybe try to keep a track on the enemy. Pull down some okay. units, as an example, at the start. Is it good? Think more about denying value. Yeah, sure. Did you queue up right now? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have any questions, maybe, about what I mentioned so far? The the only thing that uh, seems to be, like, barring from my mind is... um. When I when I was being coached by Awkward, he always said like cooldowns before the fight, cooldowns during the fight, and then cooldowns after. So that's why I would make like that preemptive jump and bubble, and then kind of jump back to my team, and then during the fight go for a jump and then bubble. You know, um, just cause... this is <laughs> well okay. <laughs> you, you can look at it this way. Um, there's a problem if you do it always. No, I I totally understand that. What you mean is like. Because because I was so preemptive with it, I don't have it for that next fight. And yeah, when, exactly. When I should this be jumping, I'm, yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah. crouching on the bridge and like exactly. zapping exactly. them instead. This this is the big oh, problem. I see what you mean. Yeah, this is good if you use cooldowns before the fight. Just make sure, yeah. Um, there are gonna be moments of when you notice if you use a cooldown before the fight, you're not gonna have it when the actual fight starts. So yeah. and this is the most important time when you need those. Mm. Ideally, yes, you aim to do after 
in the fight and before the fight as well but sometimes you can't do before the fight without messing up uh actual fight and this is this is the mm -hmm. problem you can mess up the actual fight mm -hmm. yeah i never i never i never understood like when the, the only the only one i never understood how to like analyze if my bubble was getting like true value the only way I've been thinking about it is like, oh, the enemy started to shoot at me. Well, I guess I should bubble. So I'd bubble. Yes. Or like no. <laughs> the obvious, like, oh, she's going to use sleep, sleep, you know, bubble. Yes. <clears throat> but um, now I kind of see what you mean. That doesn't make, like, yeah, it makes more no sense. No one to yeah. follow up on bubble, bad bubble. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, so it's either isolated yeah, for the purpose of kill or your resources getting enabled yeah you, you can be more specific yeah i just say start tracking three cooldowns that helps but later you can track more or maybe maybe let's say even three at the start it might seem a little bit hard okay you can just track one two specific cooldowns to play around and that is that is fine but now we do what we do let's do disabling the enemy uh, enemy cooldowns biggest cooldowns mm -hmm. This is, also this is thinking stuff. about my cooldowns. Uh, so might be too much, but you can try. Yeah, this this just might be again uh, overwhelming your working memory. Um, because... Oh, that's true. That's true. You want to focus one thing at a time. Yes. So you can just entirely focus on the enemy. By the way, that was good. That was good. The uh, setup here. Yeah, try this out. Just be patient. If the scouter you early, you can disengage. But this is good location. One eight angle. You know, like a tracer here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Look at the enemy composition. What cooldowns he disabling? I was hoping Mercy would land on the ledge. Nice, good job. Oh! oh almost <coughs> lived there. What cooldowns are you disabling on the enemy composition? Uh, the Echo Fly and like the uh, Echo Stickies. Mm. Okay. Yep, something to keep in mind. I was hoping maybe mm. like Winston would jump at me, uh -huh. but he jumped on my team. Mm uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. A little bit too early. You, you, a little bit too early there with the bubble, but it's it's fine. Yeah, I I forgot to scout and look at team. That's okay. Yeah, that's that's why it's tough. Like your working memory is busy. Yeah, you you can't do both or uh, like three tasks at the same time. It's just. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's let's think about the ultimates a little bit more. Who is close to the ultimate on the enemy team? What I do you definitely think? think Echo is. Echo is okay. So and see, probably Winston. More emphasize on pressuring the Echo probably because she's more dangerous. Winston maybe maybe um, later, but Echo you have to put more emphasis. Okay, see like this this is and this is exactly like cups with the target priority. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you force out the cooldowns faster. Okay, where's the Echo? You constantly have to keep an eye. Where she is. Okay, she's right here. here. Okay. Nice. If where's the wall? That's mercy. Right. You can. You can. Uh, yeah. Keep. Keep. The pressure. Just be. I think careful. I'm doing good. Just occupying the space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There goes that. Okay. Next ultimate. You can keep it in mind. Maybe it's Ash. Ash Bob. You can force it. Once killed the mercy. Oh, <laughs> she's she's quite she good. Is with so fast. <clears throat> There's the bomb that I should have been worried about, like you said. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm walking around doing nothing. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, but are you you winning? Yeah, it's <laughs> <that's> working. <clears throat> Be careful. I, I I have my ult, so I feel yeah, like yeah. uh, two, I hear two supports ch alone. Ch ch just 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 remember that you don't don't uh well, don't overcome it. But it's okay. Because yeah, I I I knew one of the ult they altered, but I was worried about what this uh, where the other support was. Because I know they vowed, but I didn't know which one switched. Uh, the the brig. 
<clears throat> the brig was the one who switched yeah, yeah yeah exactly so see like when you forming this habit as well uh you need to actively when you asking all this cooldowns and like ultimates what they have a press tab to help you as well because if they switched you have to know that yeah like so they just switched yeah. they switched cassidy right they switched uh, ash to cassidy and they switched mercy to brig okay <clears throat> Right. Okay. Oh, it is my honest. I thought my honor would might be still looking over here, but I didn't see that she got pushed out and killed. Just reset one more time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what what ultimates they close to? Primal. Primal. Okay. Uh, they actually used it. Okay. What else? They're both their DPS are up, back up, Echo. Okay. I so, can make, I can probably force it here. Oh no, she doesn't give it to me. Try to disengage here. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay, so Echo, Cast Alt. I think they had everything. Brig Alt, Moira Alt. This is a late bubble. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the the intention of the jump, I think, later, if you would have made it, I think, was would be okay. Yeah. It's just, we, we Maybe hit, I did it earlier. We hit the ship. <laughs> That's, well, that, that too. Okay, okay. And the same process again. You can kind of think, okay, what is that? I'm disabling. Mm -hmm. Okay, Echoes, do it mode. Okay, this coalescence, get out. Yeah, so the, you forced out a lot. Okay, now you can see what you can force out next. What are the cooldowns, ultimates you can bait? Mm -hmm. Scarcity seems killable. Mm -hmm. Good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I have. I have primal, so I want to see if I can get shit out early. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'm I'm tr really trying to focus on the stuff, but man, does it make me play terrible? Yeah, that that that, that is. <laughs> usual that is okay as I, mentioned, yeah. as I mentioned your working memory is busy with something uh so you it's gonna be tough they're doing a bunch of other things habit. wrong it's okay you just formed the habit of getting better at like tracking the cooldowns again one thing at a mm -hmm. time then you build the habit and it's gonna be automatic okay this round let's do enable your top three cooldowns so right now it's looking like Nade and Dynamite. Nade, Dynamite, <laughs> okay, Dash. Yeah. yeah, so most of your cooldowns ready, you go. If, if don't, uh, then it's a mistake unless you go and isolate it, okay? So that's it. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> On that defense, that, that was the first time I felt like I was doing a lot when I wasn't, like, actually shooting anybody. So. <laughs> exactly. The Overwatch is a game of resources. You, you, you don't. It's not just damage, damage all the time. You, you force out resources at the right time, you win. You don't have to do damage sometimes to just uh, force out something as well. It's really important. So on on most maps, I like set up first, but on this map, I typically end up just pushing cart. 
and like trying to get it under the bridge. Mm. But you no, I think I think you should you should set up first still. You usually fight for this first bridge here. See this first bridge? Yeah. No, uh, no, no, not there. Uh, but the first one. Too wide. <laughs> the the first the first one right above you. Uh, but and then you fight for this high. Oh, I get here. her fly out though. Okay. Uh, see if cooldowns can be used. If yes, then you jump. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then jump. Yeah. Unless isolated. Okay. And out. Okay. And same questions. I'm gonna oh. grab the mega. Over and over. <laughs> okay. Same question. Your cooldowns. Yeah. You see, like the, your cooldowns are down there. Yeah. See, you, the nade is used. Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Dynamite. Genji's out. You only have dynamite and nade in three seconds. You're not gonna get value up there. Be careful. Ooh, I might have got an ash killed there. Okay. okay, you can you can fight for top high ground later. You have to, but uh, no, you're gonna die. You know why? Not then, yeah. You... <laughs> I, I oh, that was a bad jump. I don't but know what I was you, thinking. You see, you see now what it's based on. Your resources can't yeah. use there, <laughs> and no there's no isolated. Up. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty simple. <clears throat> it's simple, but it's like it's working. <laughs> okay. Mm. No resources. Okay, okay. I guess my the Typical. resources can be used on the diva. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we're just waiting. Yeah, it's just resources or isolated. There's no isolated yet, I see. So Okay, maybe this. This is this is okay. That that was a good jump. Yeah. That was isolated, so why not? That was a good option. Okay. Oh, he's still in the okay. hallway. See see if resources can be used and jump. Okay. Uh, then rotate. It looks like she wants. She wants to alt me. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to use primal. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Get out. Mm-hmm. Be careful. See if resources can be used. Okay. This is fine. Mercy. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> See, by the I way, that's okay. <laughs> it's once you get really good at tracking the enemy cooldowns, you disable the res 100%. That's why I was saying mercy, yeah, because it's disabling the rods, but it's it's okay. Okay, leap result? No, he's not gonna. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we okay, we don't have any alts anymore. Well, I guess we have nano. Okay. We have nano. Dash. Where's Genji? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I have no idea where Genji is. Oh. He's right, right, up, <laughs> right, right, right up near you. Okay. I think we can fight this. We can fight. Yeah, dash is there. See, like dash is there. Okay, this is enough. Two v one. The diva yeah. is dash. Sure. Okay. Uh, resources. Your your resources can be used there. Yeah, my resources are low. Yes. So I left. You, you set up one more time, though. Yeah, you set up. Okay. Mm, fine. It was overall good. Okay. Yeah, I just saw this ground is like super yeah. powerful. Okay, resources used, then go. Isolated, so go. Okay. Mm. So you game. win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm staying on this Ana too long, but it's like the Valk is either going to come out here and kill the Ana. Oh, it's okay. Or... It was isolated initially, so I think it was good decision. All right. Mm -hmm. I I I I, mm -hmm. I know I didn't say they had soldier alt, but I I mm -hmm. feel like I somehow was just p worried of that soldier on when I got manoed. <laughs> I was like thinking about it right. in the back of my head. Yeah, exactly. And this is what's <laughs> gonna happen. Uh, you intuitively later once you you're gonna be tracking more and more, you intuitively will know what target you should be focusing. Um, it's gonna be easier for you to make a decision. 
it should be more targeted damage more patient damage we have time maybe you want to do one more if you yeah i can i if yeah. you think we should either do a play or review that one you, you, you can, we can do one more i don't think there's like too much to say i would just keep focusing on those uh habits those are pretty important and difficult to um to train as well so i'll definitely definitely invest more time on that <clears throat> Uh, there's something about the setup. Uh, you don't want to forget about it, though. Whenever you trying to do all of this, don't forget your setup. Even though you're thinking about the cooldowns, there've been times when you just kind of walk out in the open. Um, so yeah, it's you, you just later. Make sure you do both your you setup. Yeah, and then... I feel like I had like a bunch of like drifting where I was just like, yeah. I was getting shot at. Yeah, I was out in the yeah. open. I was away from cover. And I uh, wasn't shooting anyone. But, but don't, don't, don't get me wrong. It, it's okay to kind of autopilot and maybe don't do not be perfect at setup when you applying all of these habits for now. But later it's gonna be easier. Later you will notice. Okay, I got better. Uh, my more working memory handled dealing with topsy cooldowns, playing around those, and then you can set up better while keeping track on the cooldowns as well. It's it's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Awareness is such a big thing. Charging battery. Listen and listening to sounds as well, emphasizing that whenever you set up to... Because you don't want to take pokes, so there's sometimes... The, the game is just so loud, though. Like, hearing people is so hard. <laughs> uh, do there's you, no, there's always do, other do you sounds have Dolby, Dolby surround sound? I'm it's, not sure. Go, go, go on sound. Okay, uh, audio mix, baby. Uh, let me see. Uh, so we'll not mess up the settings. I'm just gonna see what's mine. Okay, sound. Uh, yeah, it's special audio. Okay, device. Device, let me, let me, let me see on your screen. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolby Atmos for he headphones. Okay. I'm I'm hoping it's not gonna mess up anything now, but can you hear me still? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, uh, this is better. This sounds way different. Yeah, uh, this... I can hear him like walking. Yes, this is better <laughs> because if you have proper I can headsets, tell like where he. Yes, exactly. You, Charging this is directional me. audio now. The direction of audio, yeah. This tells the direction <laughs> of audio. You, you should enable that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm a Tarkov player, so like I'm used to sound just like <laughs> exactly. using that above all else. But in Overwatch, it seemed like that skill was useless. Yeah, yeah. No, well, <laughs> no, no, now it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm hoping to get one of my counter comps in one of these games. Mm, sure. I, th I that that's what I've really liked about the update is um, all the uh, all the old counters don't seem to punish me like nearly as hard. Yeah, yeah. Like when I when that's I right. ran into that Reaper in the hallway on Gibraltar, mm. like before, I feel like that would have forced Charging out my battery. bubble and jump. Like mm -hmm. I would have had to try to do everything in my power to get away from him as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. But I just like walked away. Yep. <laughs> and yeah. 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 Still had armor. Yeah. Exactly. There was so. a good. I think this, this update is good overall. No, I don't know if I'm saying that though because Winston's strong or something. <laughs> I don't know, but going eight and zero yes or seven and zero yesterday felt pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Made me like the update. Okay, uh, let's do enable top two cooldowns again. What are those? Okay, rail. Rail. Maybe uh. Alex, maybe. Uh, Soldier LOS. Yeah. Okay, isolated kill. Ooh. Suzu, okay. Uh, you still kill Moira, Moira, Moira on the right. Okay, this is two. <laughs> I just not sure. I would have gone after the Moira because she was low, but it's okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, winnable. It's winnable. I I definitely should have gone after the Moira. Uh, I I felt like <laughs> I felt I just felt like someone was gonna clean her up. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think it, I think it's fine. It's just kind of the inst inst instinctively uh, usually see what is more killable at the same time too, while uh, forcing out something okay. like yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay though. No, I don't. <clears throat> we did we did good. Okay. 
Right, right, right. Yeah, Mauga, you just don't face the Mauga at all and kind of yeah. just see what uh what are the cooldowns you enabling. Uh huh. This is smart. I made that jump on the rationale that uh I had cooldowns That's that could good. back me up. Nice, good job. Nice. Okay. Come here. Uh, let's also do uh, this match. Look at your ultimates and enable your ultimates. Okay. Mm -hmm. So visor, Moira. Mm hmm. What what is the I feel one? Like that was a pretty good round. Yeah, you you, you can well. prioritize the one you want to enable. You can always ask the question. Okay, what what is that I want to enable first? Right. And you kind of gonna be now setting up fighting for the space where those big ultimates are. So much easier for you. Okay. Feel like this might have been a mistake. I heard our, I heard, I ho I heard our Moira ult, so I was thinking like I kind of want to set up in a linear position, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was probably not the greatest idea I've ever had. You know, you know, I think we've done a good. You, you done enough space there. Even though you die, it's like not, not bad. That's it's a good death. I feel like I definitely got value out of it, but I don't know. I feel like there's probably a pay, play I can make that leads to my me being alive. Mm, well, maybe, value. maybe. But uh, again, <laughs> staying alive, it's not always a good thing. You, okay. Sometimes it's good to die and win. Uh, it's okay because you win the fight. There are good deaths and bad deaths at the same time. There's no. It's not always that it's bad to die. That's why, like, paying attention to deaths, I don't think it's, like, valuable most of the time. <clears throat> That that times when you just like trade uh, your life and it's good, it's much better than uh, without trading. Okay. I'm gonna sit up over here. I think they're gonna come through the middle. We don't have any alts, so I'm just kind of looking to get mine. Hmm. They did not come through the middle. They're coming yeah. through this way. See, see what? Don't forget about the tap. See what are the ultimates you enabling? Yeah, that you you gotta gotta keep, keep pressing the tap. Mm -hmm. My more is ulting, so I'm mm -hmm. not really too afraid of jumping on the Malga here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I see you again. Check the tap. Check quickly what are the ultimates you can play around. It's visor pools, so now you can set up accordingly and fight accordingly, so you're not over investing anything. True, true. Yeah, he, my visor's probably not gonna want a visor right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. He's, He's he... probably gonna want a visor when they're more in the open, right? Yeah. I don't really know. True. All my visors suck when I play soldier. Okay, maybe that's just tracer though. No, it's not. Their whole team came from the other way. Okay. That's All great. Alrighty. Third round. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I got a little lucky though. I was I wasn't ready for that soldier to alt. And I we definitely I definitely wasn't ready for them to walk in mm. like that way. I thought they were coming <laughs> the other way. <laughs> but I found that on up really quickly, which is Now nice. when there are no ultimates, you again keep an eye on cooldowns. It's always ultimates first. If no ultimates, then cooldowns. Okay, what are cooldowns you're playing around? Top three, mm -hmm. kind of. Same thing, keeping that in mind. Okay, there's no cooldown, so be careful. This uh, target is isolated, so I, I get have it. primal though. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But... That's the yeah, okay. But you're right. I gotta work on playing with round cooldowns. I was thinking about just going for a flank and then like jumping behind them and bubbling. Yeah, yeah. I just want <laughs> you to make sure you check though before then. You just if, if okay. the cooldowns are there, if you're going up after multiple people, then it's a good play. If not, then okay. Well, <laughs> lame behavior. That guy's giving up. 
Okay. <laughs> I've got Brig over here for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the cooldowns you can play around still. Right. Once your cooldowns are here, you use it. Okay. Cast Azalea in the back. Reaper? Well, I don't think you kill him, but... Cast is isolated, yeah. Can kill him, I think. <laughs> you have Primal, too. Most of your team is here, so... That one was way easier than the other ones. Yep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> yeah, a lot of those fights just went a lot smoother, I feel like. Mm-hmm. You see, when like... I wasn't... You, you can compare your much. gameplay before with those, I think, uh, with our recent games. It's much more patient because you, you're scouting the information. You're looking after what you're playing around. You... Get information on both things it's not like jumping uh, all the time not poking all the time for whatever reason see like <laughs> this, this is exactly the downside if somebody tells you always do this always damage uh, this is not that's not uh, what you want <laughs> of course it's like gets you something okay time four <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's an all-time high <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, you can be proud of that even more because it's a new season <laughs> because uh, it's harder I think to get the this rank actually <laughs> yeah so. now I feel really I I mean I know I know I, I'm I'm expecting to start ranking up now like up to like maybe diamond three diamond two mm -hmm. but um yeah I feel a lot better in my gameplay so thank you yeah <laughs> but I'll, I'll keep working on that stuff because no yeah. even at the end there I I know we we were working on enabling my cooldowns but I forgot to switch like into one of the rounds to like thinking about theirs uh again i, I had no it, idea what it, ults it, they it, used it, or whatever as i mentioned that's okay remember we went over what uh that was interleaf practice remember the idea behind interleaf practice yeah you mm -hmm. by the way did you did you look to apply it <laughs> that so far just like this xyz we went over this remember how you want to practice one concept one round. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't make a worksheet or anything but i have been using that like i i do round by round by round yeah. And yeah. instead of and instead of doing like a it more broad like I used to where I would take one of your bulletins mm -hmm. and just make that I try to be more specific. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, um, I would really emphasize this to be honest. Like really, really emphasize so you keep working on one thing at a time and make it much easier, more focused. Uh, you don't. It, it's not like okay, you're working on something like X concept, enabling top C cooldowns. It's not like you have to uh, do something else, something else perfectly. No, it's about just perfecting the habit, getting it to automatic point. Then you can work on something else, something else. That's why like this interview practice X, Y, Z do do this continuously mm -hmm. for for my when i would like a uh, practice poke i would i would make it like the first round i'm going to focus on specifically poke before my engagement so like poke while setting up mm. and then um and then like the next round i would focus on like poke while escaping mm -hmm. so after my engagement like running away and like avoiding poke <clears throat> right or something so mm -hmm. that's how I, I i'm i'm being way more targeted and like specific because you also said um when where and like why like try to also have yeah. those in your head yeah. while practicing yeah yeah exactly exactly that that helps. <laughs> that's helped a that lot helps. like yeah keep because uh, on, on that second game too like i kept saying in my head like um what what uh what, what is this jump like i kept mm -hmm. i kept checking my jump to see if um does this enable my team's aggressive cooldowns exactly does this enable my team yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooldowns? exactly 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 <clears throat> always always using those questions helps to break down everything a little bit more like for example you keep in track on something like widow um widow shot you want to play around that okay so this is a question you answer what what you play around widow shot of when you're gonna jump okay when widow has good mm -hmm. sightline low range sight too, line, yeah where yeah where long range area yeah, something like that you, you always can break it down and now your engagement is gonna be much easier suddenly you don't use your bubble too early or just you're gonna be overexposed to something yeah it's um 
it's good. Obviously, there are gonna be times, like we mentioned, you can use the cooldown before the fight, but make sure it's not gonna mess up your actual fight. And I think most Winstons, uh, they get it wrong, they get spotted before the actual fight where they shouldn't. Uh, it's yeah. because your gameplay really more similar to a tracer, in my opinion, with the, all the recent changes as well. Um, you you don't want to get spotted a lot of times. You can just be more sneaky patient especially with our recent problems uh well well problems before we've been a little bit unpatient and just poking all the time um it's it's good uh it's good that you do that you just lean towards this okay? yeah mm -hmm. and awkward was also always told me like um that tank is a little bit different from the other roles like dps and support so try not to take his like sayings like cooldowns before the fight and after the fight uh it's so literal because like of course I mean, uh, what I'm trying to say is, like, bubble is used way differently than, like, Helix Rocket. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Y y you know, I, I honestly, th this is this is more general. Um, it's applicable for any role, what I observed, like, so this here, so obviously, it's just always, if you able to use cooldowns before the fight, sure, it, it makes sense, but only if it can't mess up the actual fight. If, if it's gonna mess up the actual fight, then you shouldn't use that. Yeah, like, uh, Hanzo, Sonic, Arrow, even Anisnade, you use it before the fight, but you know, you, you're you not gonna have it in the actual fight, the Anisnade not there, or the Sleep Dart, well, you, you know why you lose. Yeah? You just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is important, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you wanted to say, or...? No, but I, I, I also I also got to keep in mind like um, the predicting, like clicking tab, mm -hmm. predicting where my team's gonna play based on their picks. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I, I didn't know that was a common widow spot. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yep. Uh, yep. you said like typically the widow set up here. Yeah. So maybe I'll take I'll be able to pay attention to Charging more of that, and then I'll be able to set up better and quicker yeah exactly because yeah. i already have it in my mind like you said exactly exactly <laughs> you, you and again it's not like you have to learn all the spots it's just you're going to be consistently doing that because you keep in track on that suddenly you notice the patterns and you will eventually you will not even look at those spots you will just know the video is there you you just probably like 99 percent expect the video to be there obviously i don't think it validates you not looking you still should scout the information because some players they expect yeah like especially high rank players sometimes they expect certain things to happen but they don't the, those things don't and then they mess up the engagement yeah like they, for example they uh expect mercy to be with them like fire player or maybe they expect uh, anna to be in the this exact spot and this is not happening and that's why they die that's why you still have to collect information it's just mm -hmm. Because they are, I'm not gonna be able to predict the way my team is gonna play like 100. percent Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I understand. Exactly. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I'm just gonna show you quick thing as well. Just additional note uh, to add to setup. Mm, but yeah, most of the emphasis now is gonna be on the scouting still. But let, let me just show you this. Uh, can you see my stream? Yeah. Let me join your stream real quick. It's just this. Uh, tiny thing but it's important you can apply it to anywhere um and you could even see on akinwald okay or watch point gibraltar can be a good example because we just played it whenever you set up i mentioned go on 180 angle it's important to say that sometimes you can't go on 180 angle right away you have to invest additional jump to get on the angle this is just the concept of it sometimes you use winston have to use double jump to get into the position so for if i want to maybe set up on this high ground or i want to just overall yeah overall this is a common spot to fight for okay if i want to do this sometimes you have to kind of use the double jump yeah so uh, inst instead of me going instantly with one jump and setting up kind of ob obviously gonna fight for this high ground as well yeah fight these people but uh good winstons they would do this yeah first jump here okay first jump and then the second jump is gonna be right on this high ground and see by the way what do you do with this jump with the setup you might bait enemy to go after you and go in your team sidelines so they can use their cooldowns 
But then later, you, you can instantly like jump here. Yeah, obviously you can do it better. Just uh, touch, mm -hmm. touches the sky gun. It kind of looks like this. So you just do it this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. So you last linear with your rotations and you're not as exposed. Okay, this is one example of double jump. Another example, let's say you're fighting for this spot. Okay, so again, it's not like we jump in this way. Not this, yeah, but it's looking different. You go to where? Where would you go to do the double jump? So you can't um, engage straight away here, okay? Where do you go? Well, they always play on... I, I would probably play by, like, the water tank or the stairs. So I'd, like, jump straight over and then, like, try to strafe to the corner on the left of the stair. Yeah, uh, the, you, you're saying left <laughs> stairs? Like, here? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I try to jump from there. Exactly, exactly. So the first jump here, this is, this is the first setup, okay? In the second jump, it goes to this location, as an example, okay? Let's mm -hmm. uh, give you one more. Uh, settings, maps. Okay, Akinwald. Akinwald. A lot of times. Uh, can we? Can you do actually do like Nepal, or something? Uh, the, Nepal? The, the, Nepal is hell's yeah. map. On uh, any of the sure. points for me. Okay, the, uh, Akinwald <laughs> was clear though. You, you jump through the choke. Yeah, you jump through mm -hmm. the choke. First jump through the choke. Second jump. You probably can contest the bridge or see what you do about it. Okay, uh, Nepal. Which map? Uh, which one exactly? Well, we can reset and see. Specifically, the one indoor, if you can, if you know how to get to that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just uh, the indoor see. choke yeah. is like hell on it, earth for me. Is this here? No, it's the one indoor. Oh, uh, okay, okay, I got it. Let's do. Uh, I'm just gonna reset. Let's see if we get the. Okay, I didn't do it properly, my bad. I forgot. I, d I can't do it. Okay, I have to. Yeah, let's repeat. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to, to figure out how to get to this map too. But uh, this is the only way no, I could figure out how to do it, just you, randomly you going can, through. You can, you can, you can disable, enable the settings. It's just I, I find it faster. Okay, if you like press start and restart the match, you probably can get the the map faster. But let's see. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. My team always gets stuck around that choke, and I just don't know how to like alleviate the pressure. Okay. I jump to like the mega on the outside. The right side. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is your first jump overall, like this, this here. Mm -hmm. Uh, first jump you can do the second jump this way, and pressure the back line if you want. Uh, so this is. What if what if, what if you've already lost point though? Like there's they are set up on it's the okay. point and they're holding like the choke. You, Where you, do you jump then? You. Oh, they're holding the choke. Okay. Yeah, so they're like holding your that spawn yeah like that area yeah then then you do do this way again less linear you don't want to go from front line okay go right mm -hmm. go here you can set up around here and then set up the pressure so see this is this is the 180 yet but it's always double jump okay first jump here second jump is going to be somewhere around here if it's needed obviously yeah but it's okay. always double jump idea yeah oh maybe your second jump if they hold in choke there yeah like right in front okay second jump to here and i can fight yeah? it double that, that's the main point it's even more being even more patient with the double jump okay mm -hmm. okay something you can implement all right uh any questions so far where no no questions. Okay, then let's summarize what we got out of today. You tell me. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so the one of the main things was prediction, like um, clicking tab, keeping ta tabs on like what the enemy mm -hmm. has in their uh comp, and then thinking in my head like um where they're going to be playing based off those picks like where soldier wants to be or as opposed to like where reaper wants to be like you said in the castle mm -hmm. um he's pro reaper's probably gonna be in the castle and then um <clears throat> sound using sound <laughs> that was another big part mm -hmm. um the less linear engagements of course and then um what cooldowns are at my disposal like mm -hmm. uh what if, my, if is my bubble in LOS of my team's powerful abilities? If not, then I need to find like a better jump, a better engagement. Right. That that's pretty much the summary I got in my head. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the enemy cooldowns. Thinking about denying enemy cooldowns and then alt tracking. 
thinking about what alts my team has and where I should be playing if we're going to be using these alts and uh, what targets I should be focusing to force out bad alts on the enemy's part. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That was the summary I got. See, uh, when you track in, uh, because I mentioned you have to track cooldowns and ultimates, I would start doing something like track 1, 2 cooldowns and ultimates. Later, can track more. You will not. So are you saying like I uh -huh. play a game and I'm just I'm just Charging worried about battery. like yeah. Let's say Blade. Like all right, I know he yes. has Blade. All right, they yes. have Blade. All right, exactly. They have Blade. Exactly. Yeah. You constantly okay. every fight you're gonna be asking the question of um start maybe start tracking. Most players do it this way. They start tracking one role, so you can just track a DPS like maybe two DPS all the time. And every fight ask what is the percentage yeah they close to ultimate or not if yes then you go on them if not then not you do something else yeah this is a good mm -hmm. habit um and later you're eventually gonna be able to track every possible ultimate yeah i, I watch a lot of boger and like i was watching this stream the other day and he, he'll like he'll say the exact percentage yeah of what obviously. the enemy's at yeah yeah, <clears throat> yeah this is almost the... like he can see it yeah exactly exactly it's just you form the habit you can uh, you can do the same. Mm -hmm. You can continuously track, and uh, we can talk about that more. Actually, how to? I'm just gonna write it down for us. Um, so this is like awareness. Yeah, awareness topic. Tracking ultimates more in depth potentially. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 